power yoga, take one. So here we are, we're driving um, in Virginia, just left the Roanoke area, and we're going to DC. And I have been working on this, and there's a lot that you can do in the car. So take your hands to your heart. Inhale your arms up and look. You can't get them all the way up. So we're going to do like a little back bend and take the shoulders backwards. Like that. And then exhale your hands to your heart. And let's do that again. Shoulder back bend. Stretch your neck. Exhale your hands to your heart. Take your hands to your knees. So this right here is going to be the primary move motion that we're looking for in the car. This is the opposite of how we normally in the car. Rolling the shoulders back and back. Exhale forward. This is how we normally sit in the car. Hands up. Inhale. Look and lift. Exhale. Hands up. Inhale. Cow lift. Exhale. Hands up. Inhale. Cow lift. Good. Cross your left foot over your right and let's turn. Turn in your chair all the way in this direction. I'm turning to my right. I'm grabbing the chair behind me and I'm twisting. And make your eyes go all the way further to the right. Back over your I cross my legs the wrong way. Cross your legs the other way. Take your right leg over your left. I forgot there's a special way I want to do this in the car. So then we're going to take our left elbow and tuck it over our right knee. And then find that same twist, but we're turning it a little bit. We're getting into more of like a triangle shape. If you want, you can take this top hand and bring it up. That's a big twist. out of that. Take your elbow on top of your elbow. Wrap your hands around. Here's your eagle arms. Oh, and cross your legs again. And wrap your legs around each other. And now we're doing an eagle in the car. And inhale up. Turn your car, shoulder bend. And exhale down. And exhale and release. And then we're going to do this a couple of times. This is cool. So put your feet on the Ground, floor ground, and press your feet evenly four points into the uh, floor, our floor, and then watch what I want to do. Roll your shoulder blades back and down the back, and then plant your back against your seat here, and then lift. Oh, I'm seriously, but a little. Lift yourself up. So I'm just I'm holding my weight by pressing my back in, against this seat rest. I'm holding myself with my quads and my hamstrings, kind of doing a chair pose, sort of. Holding with the quads. It's not taking my whole weight because of this, but it's taking a lot of my weight and I can feel it. I can feel it in my quads, I can feel it in my hamstrings, I can feel it in my core. It's nice. I'm gonna breathe here a little bit. You work your legs while you're in a car. It's pretty good. It's not as tough as if we were doing a chair post standing. But it's not easy either. My heartbeat's coming up a little bit. Now, you can't see this, but I'm, I'm coming up onto my toes, bringing this bend not only into, bringing this uh, pressure that is not only into my quads and my hamstrings, but into my calf muscles too. Deep press in. We're working, we're working, we're in a car. We're working. It's good, I can feel it all the way into my glutes. It's good. All right, and then come down. Take your right ankle on your left knee. And adjust yourself however you need to adjust yourselves to be comfortable. And come down. Here's our car pigeon pose. Come down so that you're feeling inside your right hip and not inside your right knee. I have this dashboard right here. I can almost get my hands onto the dashboard and my forehead onto the hands. Anytime you are in yoga and you find a way to rest your forehead, either on the floor or on something. It's nice. It's nice six chakra stimulation. See if you like it. Good. 
Turn twist out of that and let's come into this. This is another nice car thing. Take your legs up onto this. What is this called? Dashboard. Take your legs up onto the dashboard and grab your feet. And if you can't grab your feet, grab a strap like a charger or something. Put it around your feet. You wouldn't use a charger. Use something else. Put it around your feet so that you can grab them. Stretch the backs of your legs now. We're stretching the hamstrings and the calves. Rolling the shoulder blades back and down the back. Really feel this stretch in the backs of your legs. It's not too bad. We're in a car, we just worked our legs, and now we're stretching our legs and our shoulders. And then come into cross-legged. You're going to cross your right leg over your left. And a good cross-legged. Big car seats tend to be a little on the wide side as opposed to a regular seat, so it's good. We have a lot of room. Take your shoulders up and back and down the back. Take your chin up and out of your chest. Now we're going to do this um, cow face. And you're going to want to strap some kind this plastic bag. So you're going to take your strap in your left hand, take your left hand forward, up and back behind you, take your right hand forward and around and grab your strap. Gosh, where's my strap? I want to not use a plastic bag. See what I did here? There's my strap. And what we're doing here in this pose is a modified cow face pose. Bokukasana is we're stretching both shoulders and both hips. And just be there and breathe. And if you want to, you can lean your head back against that top arm. Switch into your shoulder. remember how to do all of that on the other side. So take your feet down to the floor. Inhale to a cat lift, roll your shoulder blades back and down their back, pick up your chin. Exhale, cat tuck, opposite motion. Here's how we sit in the car all the time. Inhale, cow lift. This is the opposite of how we sit in the car all the time. Roll your shoulder blades down the back, picking up the chin. Really making the spine strong. Again, exhale, cat tuck. Inhale, cow lift. Really feel it. And this time, let's grab our hands. Well, it's not going to work. Well, kind of. Grab your hands behind your back and see how far forward you can go. Maybe you put your forehead on this dashboard and lift up these shoulders behind you. See what I'm doing? I hope you can see this. Feels pretty good. And then maybe lean to your left, keeping your shoulders the same. And come on up and lean to your right. And then cross your right uh, knee over your left. We're going to turn in the direction of our chair. And bring up behind us and twist. And then we get deep into this twist. your right elbow to the outside of your right knee. No, wait, did I do that backwards again? Did. Switch the cross of your legs. And then take your right elbow to the outside of your left knee. We're getting into the same twist. Only deeper. And I'm making it kind of more like a triangle. And 
around to the front. Stack your elbows on top of each other. Make your feet parallel. No, actually, cross your legs again. Here's our evil. We're wrapping our arms around and wrapping our legs around. Inhale up straight up. Moving forward. Let's do it one more time. Inhale up again. Exhale, release out of that. That was Gomo, and now that was Garudasana, Eagle Pose. Now put your feet on the floor, put your weight evenly in your feet, and do this thing again. I really like this. Roll your shoulder blades back and down the back. Press the back of your back into your uh, seat rest thing. Unloosen your seat belt a little bit, and come on up your legs. You can do it. You can find a place where your legs are working here. Quads, hamstrings, roll your shoulder blades back and down the back. And then come up onto your toes and add the calf muscles into that equation. On the right knee, settling in and finding your car pigeon pose. What we want to feel is the inside of this left hip releasing. So come on down, and if you can almost get your forehead to the dashboard, maybe you can like stack your fist like this so that you can lean your head on the dashboard. That'll be nice. Main thing we're trying to feel is the inside of the hip. legs both on top of that dashboard and grab your feet or put a strap around your feet and consciously stretch the backs of your legs. Bring your shoulder blades back and down the back. Give them a good release. Good, and then come into cross leg, and you're going to cross your left leg on top this time. So that's the opposite of what we did before. Finding that, or some version of that. Take your strap. What happened to my strap? I lost my fancy strap. I'm use this bubble wrap. Take your strap in your right hand. Take your hand forward, up, back. Take your left hand and grab that right elbow first, and let's just wiggle into that right shoulder. And then take your left hand around and grab your strap or whatever you're using. Or your fingers, if your shoulders are really flexible, you can get your fingers. And then just be here. inside your thigh. We're going to take that right elbow inside of our right knee and twist up. Take your hand. Maybe you can grab this thing. That's kind of nice. Or touch it on the ceiling or 
something like that. We're twisting here and we're opening the side body, the right ribs, the right waist. This is actually excellent. This is an excellent stretch. The car is perfect for this, at least on this side. onto the dashboard, tuck your right leg in, we're going to take the left hand to the outside of the left, le left elbow to the inside of the left knee, and then turn up to whatever degree you can and find a prop of some kind on the ceiling. That beeping is just me pressing a button here on the car, don't worry, nothing is bloating. sure it feels good. Get it to a place where it feels good. Remember that we're opening the side ribs on the right side. Coming into a side rib. There's this really nice straddle forward fold that you can do in a car. And let me see if I can do it in such a way that you're not going to see my underwear. You might see my underwear. We're going to come down. I, I'm taking my knees apart. Maybe you won't see this at all. I'm going to come down between my knees and I'm going to take my elbows. Well, first of all, you could do it just coming down between your knees, maybe resting your forehead on the dashboard. That's nice. Or coming down with your head. That's also nice. Like that's that crash position for a plane. Or you could take your elbows and hook them under your knees like this. This is what I'm gonna do. I, I'm showing you, but I'm gonna actually do it down here. Taking my elbows under my knees, hooking down, and then taking my head underneath the dashboard. That's it. My head is underneath the dashboard. I'm gonna stay down here. I'm in, in an inversion, and this is. Um, it's called tortoise pose. It's a version, this is a seated version of tortoise pose, but basically the legs are opening up the back. Because the legs are hooked over the elbows, we're getting more opening in the back, so come on down and feel it. And wherever you are, let your head go and let your shoulders go be in this inversion. This is a garland pose, malasana, squat, in other words. Feels great. Feels great. Totally do this in a car. down to the floor. And let's do our neck. Exhale your left ear to your left shoulder. Exhale forward. And inhale your right ear to your right shoulder. Exhale forward. Inhale left ear to the left shoulder. Go back and forth with your old breath now. Let's do it a few times. 
loosening up anything in your shoulders, your neck. Next time your head comes to center, lift it up gently. Take your hands to your heart. Inhale your arms over your head. This weird stretch. Exhale your hands to your heart. Car yoga. We did 20 minutes. We worked our muscles. We stretched our muscles. We never even unfastened the seatbelt. Namaste.